my lovelies welcome back to my channel for those of you guys that are new welcome my name is pinky and teaching witchcraft and tarot is what i do for those of you guys returning welcome back my loves i want to give a shout out to all of you that have reached out to me through all the social media platforms i appreciate and thank you guys very much for the support and the love and i apologize for the late updates on the monthly reading uh if you've been following my other social medias you're aware <laughs> Um, if you don't, I encourage you to follow us on Instagram, Snapchat, and Facebook. You can find all of those links on the description box below. Also, I want to give you guys an update if you guys are interested in any personal workings, any type of cleansing, spiritual work, or personal readings. You can find all of that on the link below on our Shopify store. And um, any of the books or manifestation journals and manifestation book, you can find all of that. All the links are down there. All right, Capricorn. Before we get into your reading, I want to give you guys a quick uh, update on what's happening on an astrological level. OK, so obviously you guys know we've just experienced the solar eclipse, which was massive. So this is something that, like I've told you guys, if you have followed me for a while, you already know how it goes down when we're talking about eclipse season. Eclipses are celestial events that happen where it creates portals for us to jump timelines uh, but also it gives us the opportunity to kind of be able to narrow down exactly the path that we're on and the path that we should be on because these are destined events that happen around this time. So for a lot of you guys, it could have been very different on different aspects, depending of where you have uh, your Libra placement and depending on where you have your Aries placement in your chart. However, right now we have the North Node in uh, Libra and we have the, sorry, we have the South Node in Libra and we have the North Node in Aries. So we're shedding a lot. We're closing cycles. We're ending cycles that are forcing us to bring balance into our life. With Aries in the North Node, it means being proactive. It means making things happen, even having the need to be aggressive in certain situations. Because remember, Aries is ruled by Mars and when we experienced this last solar eclipse, we had a lot of planets in there in the sign of Aries. We have Chiron, which is the wounded healer. So it's about <clears throat> dealing with shadow side aspects, things that are of trauma or childhood that we had to address or that we're still addressing. Uh, for others of you, it's like I said, being pushed to be more proactive, basically action, right? Mars rules over action and aggression. Um, and then we also have um, the we also have uh, Venus just recently entered Taurus. So uh, what does that mean? Uh, it is in the house that it loves to be in, right? Uh, Venus rules over Taurus. So a lot of beneficial advances, a lot of finances becoming much more stable. Remember, whenever a planet that rolls over a sign goes into that sign it's bringing blessings and opportunities so i would definitely check where you have taurus in your chart that's where you can expect the blessings to come in around this time we just recently experienced uh, the conjunction of uranus and jupiter which is unexpected blessings or opportunities that come your way uh, this is going to continue on as we progress throughout the year we're also going to be experiencing the transit of jupiter entering gemini so there is a lot of growth, a lot of advancement after the chaos that the solar, uh, not solar, sorry, that the eclipse season has brought to us. Right. And it's touched us in many different aspects. Um, but nonetheless, it is necessary and it is a part of life and we have to continue moving forward. Um, and like I said, Pluto being in retrograde, it empowers you. It brings to you wherever you have this placement of Capricorn and Aquarius. Uh, it wherever Pluto touches, it transforms. So it could be in a very beautiful way. It could be in a very destructive way. It just depends. Um, but nonetheless, when it retrogrades, it brings that power back to you. It brings that knowledge and information of what you just experienced to empower you, to give you that shield of pr protection, um, to give you the strength, right? Because Pluto, a lot of people... Uh, are kind of scared of Pluto because it is a very transformative planet, it is a generational planet. Obviously, it affects us on a grander scale of things. But one of the things that people forget is with Pluto, Pluto brings power and money, uh, a lot of money. So again, for a lot of you guys right now in retrograde, you're going to start to see some doors open up. Uh, you're going to start to see momentum pick up. So again, uh, I would highly encourage you guys to look at your charts so that you can kind of figure out the themes that you're dealing with. Obviously, you know what you've been experiencing, but 
uh, with this retrograde that's happening right now, um, feel or be comfortable in knowing that it's bringing your power back. All right, Capricorn, with all that, let's get into your reading. Let's see what you can expect for the month of May 2024. I call upon all my wise and loving spirit, guide spirits of light and love my ascended master spirits of divination. Please step forward. Allow me to see here since we receive the messages loud and clearly for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Allow us to guide Capricorn and give us clarity and insight. All right, here we go, Capricorn. Let's see what is going on with you guys. <clears throat> Hopefully you guys have experienced these eclipses on a much more lesser painful way than yours truly. All right, let's see. Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. What is unfolding for them for this month of May 2024? Here we go, Spirit Guides. All right, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. One more shuffle. All right, here we go, Capricorn. All right, we're starting off here with the Three of Pentacles. We're starting off with the Devil card here, which is your power, your energy, and Pluto energy. What did I just say? Um, okay. I have messages coming through already. <laughs> Let me pull out more cards and we'll get to it. There you go. Capricorn. It has not been as easy, right? You have the three of pentacles, which indicates being surrounded or being around people that are really trying to uh, encourage you, that are really trying to motivate you or even support you. This could be your colleagues. This could be friends. This could be relatives. This could be, you know, your partner. Um, with the devil card and the tower card here, we are completely shedding uh, old way of thinking. We are completely liberating ourselves from toxicity or people that are toxic or situations and circumstances that are toxic. For a lot of you guys, it's facing or you have already faced your shadow side, one of the biggest fears that you've experienced uh, perhaps since early childhood you're experiencing that or you've already gone through it, right? Um, with the Tower card, this is Plutonian energy. This is Pluto's energy. So in this transformation that's happening for you, Capricorns, you're becoming aware. So what's coming through is for some of you guys is becoming aware of toxic traits that you have a tendency of attracting when you're dealing with partnership. For others of you, it's toxicity in the workplace and people that Maybe for some of you guys, you've tried to play the role of being cohesive or uh, not allowing people to throw you off, perhaps maybe even being a bit passive Capricorn. And lately, I want to say the past month and a half, maybe some of you guys are experiencing a bit of aggression. Keep in mind, we just experienced the solar eclipse. It was in Aries. It is another cardinal sign like you. So it's definitely going to impact you. Um, bringing, it's almost like it's starting a fire under your ass. And with the devil in the tower, you're shedding, like I said, you're completely liberating yourself, but you're also empowering yourself, Capricorn. Why? We have Pluto in retrograde right now. So for some of you guys, it's getting that burst of energy. For others of you, like I said, almost feeling like there's, there's been a light that's been, you know, fired up um, and you are picking up momentum. You're picking, uh, you're seeing the bigger picture or you're focused on aspirations and goals you're no longer settling with the two of wands and the magician and the sun card. You guys are being blessed or you will be experiencing a month of massive transformation. OK, for some of you guys, they are showing me the two. We do have the two of wands could be second house. So it could be your finances that are being transformed for others of you it could be your third house, which is with communication with neighbors, with where you grew up type of energy. For others of you, the sun card here represented with Leo energy could be your fifth house. So for some of you guys, relationships and partnerships, romance is picking up. There is massive momentum that is happening. And within this massive momentum, it is very transformative. For some of you guys, it could even be with the tower, magician and the sun card. It could be bumping into the person that you're meant to be with. Uh, we're talking about soulmates. We're talking about everything that has to do with destiny. Uh, for others of you, if it is finances and career, you're making a shift. There is a change. Now, with the devil card, I don't want you to vibrate from a place of fear. I want you to leap forward, make that jump, take that, you know, take that risk right now because it's not a, it's not a risk. It's a calculated risk is what they're saying. So again, a calculated risk is very different than taking a risk on a whim. 
It is making the right moves, being methodical about where you're putting your energy. Um, and in doing this and being methodical about it, you're going, it's a win-win for you, Capricorn. So massive transformation here. Again, blessings that are going to be unfolding. For some of you guys, you're already experiencing this. For others of you, you will be experiencing this as we progress throughout the month of May. But what they're showing me here is, again, massive transformation. Um, Magician, Two of Wands, and the Sun card. For some of you guys, getting attention, getting... Um, oh, it's almost giving me the energy of, like their veneration for some of you guys so getting a pat in the back at work uh for others of you it could be like massive growth you go from like uh just being a regular worker to going to become like a, a manager supervisor type of position for others of you it's just taking your career to the next level be ready um especially here with the sun card um we have sun in taurus and we have venus in taurus so again two benefic planets that are in the sign of Taurus that are bringing massive expansion and growth and abundance. So very happy for you guys, Capricorn. I want to wish you guys the very best. I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. Like, share, and comment. And I will see you guys soon. Till then, bye.